Hey everybody, happy to see you as usually and today let's talk about could you or should you be friends with your ex? It's a hot topic um, and everyone's um, welcome to share your story, your point of view. Um, being friends with your ex, that's a challenging question but I found my strategy and um, I'm happy to share. I think um, it's easy to be friends with your ex if you both moved on. If both of people have another partner and they are in love with them. Sometimes you were in a relationship with somebody, you had some things in common. Uh, maybe that person was a really good person, a really good friend. Uh, maybe you were in a relationship for a long time. Maybe we, you did things together. Maybe you had a business together. And that person was a decent person. Uh, and your relationship didn't work out as a couple, but it was... Um, a common decision it was not super painful you just were not compatible that way but you had a lot of other things in common and again if currently you are moved on so both of you have a partner or emotionally you aren't any longer involved I can see how that relationship can be friendly and can have a chance to be of course, if you have kids, it's a totally different story. Um, I might touch it in another video because that's a little bit uh, more complicated, of course. Um, but very often what happens is one person in the couple moved on and the other one hadn't. And usually the other ones that hadn't uh, thus, this is the one who actually wants to be friends. Wanting to be friends is kind of having an excuse, seeing each other again, um, being around and maybe having a chance of getting together again. Kind of, uh, sometimes it's almost like a desperation. Okay, if not relationship, at least uh, being around, at least being able to see that person. And that's pretty painful. Um, that's pretty painful situation would be for anybody to be in. So in this case, I would say the wise thing to do is not staying in touch. Because for one person is going to be basically meaningless. I mean, it doesn't make any difference for the one who moved on but if you are the ones that's holding on and clinging oh sorry whew, it's going to be very painful it's going to be painful and hurtful you won't be you will have much harder time to get over this relationship if it did if it wasn't meant to be you will have much harder time uh, getting over it because you will see this person more often your feelings will come come back back and forth so the best thing to do if you're the one that have hard time getting over uh, being friends the worst possible thing it's a setback it will hold you it will add more pain if you decided or that you know relationship isn't mutual you are breaking up do not do that mistake do not do that mistake you have to get over um, if you want to get over do things that will help you to move on and you know if somebody you don't want to be with somebody who doesn't want to be with you there, there is no point of stretching that painful process of separation it's painful enough there is no point to add more pain um, there is no point to add more pain to something that's already painful that's how i see it. you know it's better to cut it all at once and let yourself uh let yourself cry let yourself uh, you know the pity uh, party for a while 
whatever you need to do to um, get over it, if that's the best option, staying in touch, be friends is a very bad idea. It might prolong that separation, that pain through days, months, and even years. I know examples when uh, that in between would last years and would just not only keep you in that stuck place, but obviously preventing you of recovering and preventing you of finding what's there for you, you know, your true place where you're supposed to be. I'm gonna say real quick a Russian joke about a pig. So this guy is walking with a pig and pig only got three legs. And someone asked him, why your pig only has three legs? And the guy said, well, you know, that's a very special pig. This pig saved our family. It's uh, during the fire. Um, she um, carried everybody out of the fire. It's a hero pig. It's our symbol. It's our friend. So who cut, who would cut, who would kill such a great pig all at once? So basically, I mean, it, it's Russian humor, so I, I will explain if you didn't get my message. So basically, they it's a wonderful pig, so they cut one leg at a time. So it's just a joke, but basically, uh, you don't want to be <laughs> basically that pig or, you know, that that in that place where somebody cutting one leg or cutting your heart slowly and painfully and you know you want to um move on and being so-called friends will get you stuck with the person that you still uh, emotionally is uh, with, you know connected so long story short guys be honest with yourself you want continuation or not you see the future with a person you want to give it second chance or not it's all in your hands nobody can decide for you and i believe you can figure it out thank you